I'm joined now by Zsula Sirinyi, a fellow Hungarian astronaut who has been selected alongside Tibor in Hunor's first class of astronauts. Thank you so much for being here, Zsula. Uh, you and Tibor were selected around the same time. Tell us what that moment was like. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here. Um, well, it's it's a really interesting story because uh, we had a really long selection process. And after the selection, we had 14 months of, of basic training in wow. Hungary. And uh, even in these 14 months, we've been to the U.S. and we've been we've met Axiom people. We've been to Axiom and they, they also were part of our selection. And uh, after that, our, our selection happened from the two of us, from the four of us, two of us were selected to be to do the mission specific training we are here right now and doing right now, preparing for this mission actually. So this was an amazing journey for us. So the program kicked, the Hunor program only kicked off in 2021. That's a really fast uh, trip to this moment that we're at now. Tell us what that was like. Do you, do you think that this is right on track? Are you excited for the progress that you're seeing? Well, we had to do it really fast because we, we were not planning for, for Axiom 4 specifically. We were uh. planning to do a mission. And, uh, but Axiom 4 happened, and so we had to jump on it. It, yeah. it was really, really intense for us. But uh, the basic training were finished, and we could continue our training. But we didn't have a lot of time between selection and Axiom 4 uh, training. We had around, around just one month of period when we were selected and waiting for a mission. And what stands out to you from that training, from the AX4 training? What stands out? Something that was really bonding, something that surprised you? For, from the point bonding perspective, if you if you ask for that, I would say that, that our NOAA training were amazing, which which was when we were at uh, at Mexico with the with that's the what crew. Papa said that he loved he, being. He did it. say that. Yeah. Oh yes, that was amazing because, but it's it's a great analogy of of being on the space station. Uh, you know, you are not a very well comfortable position. Uh, with the crew, you have to solve problems. It's really like being on the space station. And, and so I really enjoyed that part. But we, we've done so many things. It was an amazing journey. Tibor has a very uh, intense mission when he's on the ISS. Lots of things to yep. do. What's he going to bring to the table when he's on the ISS? So in, from, from Hungary, all of the, the experiments we are going up there is Hungarian experiments. And uh -huh. it's it's like a really good opportunity for Hungarian researchers to show and to, to get their experiments conducted on the ISS in space. And uh, it's, it's like he is going to be doing radiation uh, experiments. He's going to be uh, growing plants in space. So he, many he's, things. He's, he's got uh, uh, <laughs> amazing uh, So portfolio. many things, but bringing along the entire country of Hungary with him into space with all of these activities. Thank you so much for being here, giving us a little peek into your training up until this moment. Congratulations to you, to your entire country. Thank you so much.